Uh, just staying in the moment, not beating ourselves. Uh, we felt like in the first half we uh, had a lot of um, critical errors that were on us. That were that were completely on us, completely in our control. Um, me, me included. So I, I, I'll I'll take that as well. Um, so so yeah, it was it was really just being in the moment, not not letting the moment get too big, not getting beside ourselves, and just being us, being disciplined, uh, getting back to go for football. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, it, I had a multitude of reasons, but yeah, I, honestly, after, after that, the Iowa game last year, you know, going into my decision, um, I wanted one more shot at it. You know what I mean? I, I wanted to want to go one more shot with my brothers um, at this season, you know, at this game, especially, you know, playing here in Kinnick Stadium. It's it, it's a special place to play in. Um, I, I told him this this is like a like a road to glory glory game. You know, you you get this on NCAA football. This is, this is a moment that you dream of. Um, so I, I couldn't pass that up. Sorry, on the field, came back with the backs. Emotional, demonstrative. What were you guys? Uh, well, I was preaching to him the whole game. Just just being in the moment, being ready um, for your opportunity, and, and taking advantage of all of them. Um, I feel like um, this game it, it takes a certain a different level of focus because um, it's obviously it's a rivalry game. But um, you know, I was they're always a great team. They're always gonna. Um, not beat themselves. They're always gonna um, come out there and play hard. So I was really just just voicing voicing how how this game has to play out. Yeah, I can't I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, that was that was something that was completely in my control. Like I said, um, and that that's totally on me, and that's never gonna happen again. So uh, yeah, just just got beside myself. Mm-hmm. How, just how wanted it more, um, yeah, that's it, man. I I, I think that uh, I don't know who knocked it out, but I, I think one of the linebackers might have knocked out the first one. It was Dev, yeah, I knew it, and then he recovered the fumble on the second one. So yeah, that Dev, Dev, Dev had a hell of a game too. So um, yeah, just just doing it together, man. Everybody's flying around to the ball. Uh, four three outs and, and uh, two turnovers forced in the second half. Mm-hmm. Did they kind of seem to feed off each other? You're saying like the defense? Yeah, hundred hundred percent, man. Uh, like I said, we knew that this is gonna gonna be a whole uh, team effort, especially the whole defensive effort. So um, seeing guys flying around making plays, man, it, it just it just brings you life and it makes you want to be the next one to make a play. So uh, that's how the defense has been all season, um, all all camp, really spring ball. Even um, we, you know, it's a competition between ourselves who's gonna make the next play. So yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think we're on our way. I think we took big strides here in the in the bye week, getting back to us, getting back to our rules, getting back to the things that we usually do. Um, and and this is this is definitely a, a big big right step uh, in in the right direction, uh, or I should say, um, for us to be back to that Minnesota defense. Uh, I really think this is going to give us a lot of confidence going forward. Outside of your personal kind of reaction to the recent comments, you talked about with Garth. Mm-hmm. When I finally get the pig, man, um, a lot of guys, uh, Crab, Brev first, um, those guys that, you know, made the decision to come back with me, um, you know, Tanner on our, on our coaching staff, Mariano's on our coaching staff. Um, I was just, I was just talking to Phil Howard, uh, Coney Durr, Jordan Howden, like all those guys that, you know, I, I went through the fire with uh, in the DB room that, that wasn't able to get it done, man. I, I had all of them with me tonight. And, and I was playing for all of them. I was playing for all of them tonight, man. Flat well, out. How was the race to the pig between you and Dragon? Oh, I should have won. They told me it was behind the the goalpost, and I'm I'm running. I look behind the goalpost, and it's not there. I'm like, all right. So I got to got to switch gears. So yeah, yeah. He beat me. He beat me. But it's alright. <laughs> oh yeah, this is blowing up right now. So it's alright. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, thank you. This is this is a special one, bro. This is a special one. Yeah, man, it was a. Uh, you know, we always say about uh, you have to play with emotion and not be emotional. And I think uh, just by practicing that, moments like this um, mean all the more to it. I mean, I was experiencing so many emotions out there with my with my brothers. You know, from all the pain and you know discipline we've gone through over the past six years of you know. Um, 
man, it's just, it's just been a lot, you know, and since our, our first year, you know, there's three of us left, me, Brevin, and Bryce Williams, and Bryce Williams, bless his heart, you know, he was on FaceTime with us, you know, he's going through a lot right now with his injury, but um, uh, it's been a, it's been a wild journey for us three, and obviously the older guys on the team too, and we came here with uh, PJ's first, you know, Coach Flex's first recruiting class, and, you know, we were like, especially, you know, me and Brevin and, you know, Josh Ani, guys who came here were like, we're gonna get those trophies back. And I don't know when it will be and it's 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 been hard and you know, we've we've won the axe and now we got the pig finally. So this one goes to all the people, um, you know, that I've played with over the years that didn't have that opportunity. So, you know, Connor Olson, Sam Schluter, uh, Blaze, um, you know, Daniel Falele, you know, all, all my best friends. I'm, you know, they're bl blowing up my phone right now, and they're so excited because it means as much to them as it does to us. And just playing with emotion for six years, um, it just it just made today so special. And I, I don't know if you know people really understand how much it meant to you know the state of Minnesota and the players who've. Um, played here for six years, you know, and seven years under Coach Flack and built this place to what it has been today. Have you met someone that's been through so many of the losses leading up to this one? Which ones are the ones that stuck with you most or that started with you guys? Uh, the, the losses? Yeah, you know, so this is my third trip to Iowa City, and both have been so emotional. Uh, you know, it's been tough, and especially in the, you know, we've, we've, We've had some really close games with them over the years, and and sometimes it's harder than you think to you know beat a team you haven't beaten in a while. And at the end of the day, it came down to halftime. We were like, "Geez, we we are not playing well. We just need to be us." And we got back to that, and we won the game. And you know, especially I think, and you know, but man, it's 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 hard to point out one loss over the other. Um, both were really difficult here. You know, you have to give a lot of credit to Iowa for creating an unbelievable um, atmosphere with their fans and their stadium and everything. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we, we trained for this ever since January, and uh, we we're, we were ready to roll. And thanks to this freaking guy here, too. Uh, no, thank you. Love, love all these guys. Ethan, second half, you were like one of the better yeah, we just had to go back to being us. Uh, first half, um, you know, all of us together, we just weren't playing our style of football. That's me included. Um, but we knew that, you know, in the second half, we had to come out smoking, man. We had to come out um, and just be us, just do what we do best, um, control the game, uh, go down the field. Uh, we put some key drives together, uh, but everyone played their butts off. I'm so proud of these guys. Um, they all got my back and I got their back. Uh, Dragon, I mean, uh, talk about a kid that just responds, responds, responds. I'm so grateful for him. I'm grateful for the coaching staff. I'm grateful for everybody. I mean, everybody played their butts off tonight. Your defense had four three and two turnovers, four for the second half. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, I can't even express the feelings I have for our defense. I'm just so proud of them. They played, I mean, they played outstanding. I mean, I mean, I got to give a lot of credit to them. They they put us, they were able to put us in some uh, really key situations, uh, put us on some, uh, you know, on you know. I just I don't even got words for our defense. That's that's the Minnesota defense right there. That's who we are. Um, we we uh, they had our backs on offense. Uh, we have to play better on offense. We know that. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can learn from, uh, but the defense had our backs, man. They did, so I'm super proud of them. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't really a sigh of relief. It was just, uh, you know, I missed a couple. Um, I'll take the credit for that. I did, but uh, definitely felt good. So. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the wind definitely played a factor, but that's what, you know, pregame's for, understanding where the wind's coming from. It came from all sort of directions tonight. Uh, crosswind, and then it was coming towards us, and it was going against us, and it was coming from our right. I mean, it was switching directions all game. Um, but, um, you know, we knew that, you know, when we we had our shots, we take them. 
And uh, it was depending on what their looks were. It didn't matter where the wind was coming from, obviously. But we knew that when we got them in a certain defense that we were able to take shots. I mean, that kid's one heck of a player. Um, you know, they put the ball in his hands when the game's on the line. He's he's one heck of a player. But uh, you know, our 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 mental uh, our mental mindset was we're gonna go down and win this game. Uh, that's what that's all we thought was that you know they did that and you know we had to put a drive together and go win the game. It didn't go that way, uh, went in our favor. But you know we were thinking we're gonna go down and win this game. So yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> 98 pounds is a lot heavier when you have to lift it. Were you able to do it by yourself? No. I mean, just the way it's shaped, it's just like, oh, I need someone else with me. So, no, I'm super proud of these guys. Just one last thing. I'm super proud of these these guys. Um, I'm thankful for the Lord, man. I'm thankful for my teammates, my coaches, uh, the staff. I mean, I'm just thankful for everybody. I mean, it, it, it takes all of us. It, it really does. Um, we know that we didn't play our best. I mean, we there's a lot of things to learn from, of course, but it's all worth it. It is all worth it. It's all worth it to do it with these guys, these group of guys. We've been through so much together. Um, I'm just super proud of these guys, and, you know, uh, I'm just so thankful for them. So I appreciate it. I saw you shout a little bit. emotional It's that it's all worth it. I mean, this season, you know, has been uh, full of ups and downs for us. And uh, it's it's we're one zero in Iowa season, but this one meant a lot to us. Um, but we're one zero in the Iowa season, and uh, just super happy, man. Thank you, Thank you guys. Uh, it's probably the gnarliest wind I've had to deal with, like in my career here. Uh, it was, I feel like it was more across the field than it was like kind of with and uh, and against it. But it was something different, and I just trusted my training, and it, and it worked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly what you think. There's a lot of lot of happy guys, a lot of you know happy staff. Going to gonna celebrate this one and move on. But we're gonna we're gonna celebrate this one the, the right way. I mean, it's I, I like I said earlier, like it's it's a win for this team. It's a win for this staff. Um, it's a win for our state. You know. Um, just, just everything involved with Minnesota right now. It's, <clears throat> it's a good feeling, and and it's just like you know, it's every time you you play a game and you, you're winning, and the clock hits zero, it's a weight lifted. Like you, you did it. You've got your result now. Um, all the work is done, and you've got your result. So that weights that weights lifted off in that sense. But it's you know, it's just it's a great feeling to be a part of this team right now. For either one of you, you when uh, Iowa had that number turn at the end, um, what was the what was your thoughts? What was your response? Ah, uh, you know, it was like. I was kind of surprised. I was like, uh-oh. But I also had faith in our offense. Well, there was like a minute 30 left. I had faith in our offense that they'd be able to move the ball, get us a touchdown in that in that last minute and a half. But it was it was uh, eye-opening, that was for sure, because it was going so good and then a little slip up. But the boys responded, and we got the win. So. Uh, Danny, what did you feel like you guys were able to do pressuring? Um, I thought when we, <clears throat> when we were able to win with our first move, I thought um, – we, that was when we had success, when we were able to get on him right away, make him start to move around the pocket a little bit more. Um, if you let him set his feet, I mean, you, got, you guys can see he's got a heck of an arm. Um, he can really throw the ball. Um, but I think we started to figure out what was working and what wasn't. You know, we had a little bit of a lull there in the middle where, you know, we weren't getting as much pressure as we thought we would. And then, you know, you got Noob coming in, getting a, getting a sack fumble, and then you've got Devin Williams getting in. So, you know, the guys like that, that, that gives the D-line juice. You know, maybe if we're not getting to the quarterback and, you know, you got – I was telling uh, Noobin that we got to switch roles. We, we can switch back now. I want to I wanna rush the passer again. But uh, um, that gives the, the D-line a lot of juice seeing other guys get sacks. So, you know, just – we the whole thing we harped on in the second half and in the first half too was just one play at a time. You know, you just, you can't think about you know, and and the game itself too. You can't think about winning the pig. You got to go out play one play at a time, and then when the clock strikes zero, you know, we'll, we'll see where we're at. And and luckily today we're on the right side of that. I was still back, ran over two hundred yards the previous two weeks, and obviously didn't do that today. What clicked for you guys in the run play? <clears throat> it was exactly that. You know, we we talked about in the bye week um, going back to our rule. And I think we had kind of fallen out of that a little bit um, as a defense to where, 
you know, we weren't necessarily, it wasn't a problem of playing hard or, you know, having the, like the personnel, it was just um, playing our rule, like go back to, okay, if, if you don't know, like what's your rule in, a, in this scenario? And we really hit home on that in these past two weeks in this bye week and it showed up um, just doing your job, not trying to do anything more. And I think we saw glimpses of, and a lot of glimpses of what this defense can do when, you know, we're playing all together <clears throat> and, you know, everyone's doing what their job is supposed to be. And then, and then you get those big plays and, and you're able to, you're able to come away with the win. Jordan, can you go through the go ahead kick? Yeah, it was, uh, I was telling Croft and Brady, I'm like, it's going to come down to, to a kick. And, uh, it was in the moment I was, I was like, heart was beating a little bit, but I knew I trusted my training. Like I always say, I trust Crawford, I trust Brady. You know, Brady's always going to get the ball back there. Crawford's always going to get the snap down. The protection up up front is unbelievable. So going back to trusting my training and getting it done, and it was it was a surreal feeling. It was good to get the get the lead for the boys and walking out with a dub. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Got to be a dabble. Yeah, <laughs> a, a little bit. <laughs> Can you smell it on us, or is that is that why you're asking? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, I chalked it up to I got too heavy into my plant foot, and which means I came down hard, and then kind of like the Northwestern kick where I got ground before I got the ball, and then that's why it just it went to the right and stayed right, and uh, you know it's unfortunate to see that happen, but right when I ran off the sideline, I had guys like Danny, Ethan, everybody was like, come on, we're gonna need you, respond, 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 and I was able to. Do so fortunately, and we walked out with a win, so it was fun. Yeah, we we uh, we really didn't help ourselves at all with that last drive. You know, um, myself having a penalty that was just you know uh, just a dumb mistake, um, and then going down the field, and and we just weren't putting ourselves in a position um, to be successful that drive, and Iowa took advantage of it. Um, and as as they put points up on the board, and so <clears throat> we came in into halftime, and it wasn't anything. You know, we need to fix this, this, and that. It was just play smart, and and I think we came back out and that hit home. We got back to playing how we were playing in the first quarter, and you know the drives before that last drive there, and just playing smart, playing how we knew how to play football. We prepared for you know we had two weeks off um, from games, so you know just really getting back to playing a, a smart brand of football and a, a tough brand of football. Who got to the pick first? I did. Yeah. It was me. It was like me and Noob combination. Yeah. But yeah, I started like twenty yards behind. Yeah, though, so. I was I was I was waiting. <laughs> Clock was at like eight, and I'm like, I'm going. To pick I'm up sorry, Croft's helmet. You know? Yeah. Did so. you guys know where it was? Yeah, I, I, I spotted. Noob didn't. Noob looked behind the yeah. goalpost. <laughs> I, it was like, yeah, because I saw it I was, like behind the goalpost, and I, I switched sides. I ran over there. I'm like, I, I gotta go get this, yeah. and we got it. Team got it, baby. Team so. got it. Team got it. Yeah. You guys all set? You bet. Thank you guys. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>